answer. I, you say in your bio that you helped to rebrand your family liquor store to Wine Library, um, and then use so social media to spread the word about the Wine Library, and that helped grow the company from $4 million in sales to $60 million in about five years. Um, is that like a direct correlation there, or there's a lot of no, other so, things? No, so I think th this story gets muddled a lot. Great. That, I could tell it was a little muddled. That's why I wanted to ask you about <clears throat> it. Yeah. And I've said this a whole bunch of times. I mean, it's, I'm not sure where that, like. I think I've, I found it online. Yeah. Online versus my website is a whole different thing. Okay. I think, yeah. you know, I'm not sure where you got it from, sure. but I know that this is a story that gets muddled. Great. Because I launched winelibrary.com in 1996. And Wine Library TV started in 2006. Yeah. The business had already grown to a 40, 40. It's why you see 45 and 60. And I don't know if this is a great opportunity to like clear it up. Yeah. I would say the dot com and the what was social media back then, which was e-commerce, SEO, SEM, uh -huh. con, you know, that kind of marketing. Right. Winesearcher.com, traditional media. Great. That was the initial great. boost. And then what was really most exciting was when I went to content marketing, I was able to continue to grow the business from that 45 to that kind of next tier without spending anywhere close to the amount of money. So it first started through, you know, listen, the first year up to three, you know, if you want to really connect the dots, the first three years, call it 96, call it 98, 99, call it 96, 97, 98, 99. That was done through operations. That was me on the floor selling more. Then the website kicked in the momentum in 2000, 2001, 2002. Then search marketing, 2002, 2003, 2004. Then, then kind of like just fixing and getting better at it, 04, 05, and then 06 started Wine Library TV, which took it to the next place. And the reason that it gets so much credit, even by me, is I went from spending millions of dollars, right? Yeah. To spending no money. Right. And using these new tactics, which is why I knew they would work for big brands, because I'm like, wait a minute. If I could save money on commercials, print, full page ads in the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, so that, but very often it gets misquoted that like social media, Yes. And social media didn't exist when I launched Wine Library, yes. you know, dot com. A couple of times I've given presentations about social media and I've used your, your case study as yep. an example and yep. I've been trying to clarify the facts. That's the clarification. And so I wanted to ask you yeah. about it. I, I, could, I wasn't clear. It yeah. grew sales to another base yeah. level and more importantly, yes. it cut massive costs. Yes. So it became a double win. It was a P and L victory, right? Profit and loss. It was a. But up. your time was being, you know, spent very much on that. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. But I really think, especially for entrepreneurs, yeah, most of us have time. Yeah. Most of us lack the dollars up front. Right. Sure.